good afternoon our listener welcome to our video today we are focusing on revision uh, this is chemistry this work is good for from 2 3 and 4 uh, if this is your first time to watch our videos we request you to consider subscribing to our channel we want to take this opportunity to thank our subscribers uh, for you have really supported this channel uh, question number one you are told element A has atomic mass of 23 and element B has atomic mass of 7 and also have 12 electrons and 4 neutrons respectively. Uh, question A, you are told to write the electronic arrangement of A and B and uh, A it has uh, two electrons in the first energy level, eight electrons in the second energy level, and one electron at the outermost energy level. Element B, it has uh, two electrons at the first energy level, and then the last energy level has one electron. Question B, which element higher? which element has higher ionization energy explain you don't to explain that element is b why b has a strong attraction of the outermost energy level electron to the nuclear to the nucleus making it difficult to remove a uh, electron or that electron because the attraction is is higher attraction is higher then uh, this is due to the smaller atomic radius compared to he, to a so b it has the it has a strong attraction of the outermost energy level electron to the nucleus making it difficult to remove uh, to remove electron and also uh, the the atomic radius is very is very small therefore it is difficult to remove them it is uh, difficult to and displace the uh, last electron you can also say outermost electrons are closer to the nucleus hence higher force of attraction and therefore it requires a lot of energy it requires high higher ionization energy question number two you are told uh, the number of protons neutrons and electrons in atoms a to f are given in the table below then you are told the letters do not represent the actual symbol of element uh, you can see atom A, uh, it has three protons, four neutrons, two electrons. Atom B, it has nine protons, ten neutrons, ten electrons. Uh, atom C, it has twelve protons, twelve neutrons, twelve electrons. Uh, atom D, it has 17 protons, uh, 18 neutrons, and 17 electrons. Uh, atom E, it has 17 protons, uh, 20, 20 neutrons, and 17 electrons. F, it has 18 protons, and uh, 22 neutrons, and 18 electrons you are told choose from the table the letter that represent roman roman one an atom of a metal uh, we are going to answer that question or this question this short break yeah. 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 
into whereby you are given atoms uh, their protons neutrons and electrons and we were looking at the first question where you are told to choose from the table uh, the letter the letters that represent Roman one an atom of a metal you get one mark uh, that atom is C C is an atom of metal Roman two a neutral atom of an animator a neutral atom of an animator is F is F uh, Roman 3 an atom of a noble gas that one is F and then a pair of isotopes that one is D and E D and E and then a cation cation that one is a we move to question number three you are told the grid below represent part of periodic table you are told to stand it and answer the questions that follow you are given uh, you are given a table here periodic table uh, part of it we have elements give, given letters we have s q z r e x m t and v you are told identify the element that gains electrons most readily and that one is x it gains uh, electrons readily uh, question number two you are told which of the metal is most reactive and then you are told to explain uh, Q is the most reactive why it loses the outermost energy level readily a uh, question uh, Roman 3 you are told what is what name is given to the family of element to which element X and T belong X and T you can see them there which which name is given to that family that family is halogens they are called halogens <laughs> You are told ionic radius of Q is larger than of M. Ionic radius of Q, you can see Q there in the first in the first periodic uh, table in the first column. You can see it there. Ionic radius of that Q is larger than that of M. Why? You are told to explain. Uh, moving across the periods. Uh, there is an incre increased num nuclear charge. Then we have a uh, next one. Atomic radius of Q is greater than that of S. And then the answer is going down and, and group the occupying energy level increases in number. Then number four, which of the element in the table does not have ability to form ionic <laughs> bond? Explain. Uh, that one is V. And it is because it has a complete outermost energy level as a stable outermost energy level. We are through this video.